What will happen in 2018 at the end of 70 years? A query about divine chronology. In the 6th century BCE, the prophet Jeremiah predicted that Judea would serve the king of Babylon for 70 years. King Nebuchadnezzar invaded Judea in about 599 BCE, leading the population into captivity in Babylon in 597. There they remained till King Cyrus allowed them to return in 539, still under his rule till his death in 530. In the 8th century BCE, the prophet Isaiah predicted that the city of Tyre would be forgotten for 70 years. The Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar laid siege to Tyre between 585 and 573 BCE, bringing an end to Phoenician national life till sometime after 515. Lenin introduced his new economic policy in 1921 before the Soviet Union was declared on December 29, 1922. The Union was dissolved 70 years later on December 26, 1991, having imprisoned or executed millions of Christians and Jews. If 70 years remains the length of divine judgment against regimes that oppose the God of the Bible, then what lies in store for those countries whose 70 years come to an end in 2018? Burma became independent of the United Kingdom, on January 4, 1948, strongly favoring Buddhism over other faiths. On May 20, 1948, Chiang Kai-shek was elected president of the Republic of China, soon recognizing that the nationalists had lost to the communists because of internal corruption. On January 30, 1948, Hinduist fanatics assassinated Mahatma Gandhi, commencing 70 years of violence and political intrigue against all other faiths. In December of 1949, the Dutch formally recognized Indonesian independence, which was declared August 17, 1945. The country tolerates Muslim violence against other faiths. On May 14, 1948, Zionist Jews in British Palestine declared their independence as the Land of Israel, being strongly opposed to this day. Israeli law discriminates against Christian Jews. August 15, 1948, the Republic of Korea formally came into existence with Sigmund Hri becoming president. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea was proclaimed on September 9, 1948, with Kim Il-sung as premier. Christian families may be executed without trial.
The territories of Peninsular Malaysia were first unified as the Malayan Union in 1946. Malaya was restructured as the Federation of Malaya in 1948. As a British Crown colony, the island was known as Ceylon, which achieved independence as the Dominion of Ceylon on February 4, 1948, violently persecuting minority faiths. Founded in 1948, the World Council of Churches began promoting communism and leftist ideologies under the guise of Christian unity. Remember, the God of the Bible remains patient to a fault, preferring to forgive and to transform nations nor is he under obligation to respect any supposed chronology that we might invent. <laughs>